Hey guys, um, I got two NU matches today, and the first one is, um, it's pretty good, and I, I'm using the same team as the last battle, which is great, by the way, you should definitely go check it, it was live, and I'm using this, I don't even know what it's called right now, that bird, <laughs> I seriously, like, that's the NU of the NU, someone just dropped it in the comments and said that I should use it, and now I'm using it, I was making a scarfed one, but then I saw that it got um, stab quick attack so I made the banded one and I realized that I had <laughs> the standard smog on set which is kinda of funny I didn't get to explain any of his team but the only threat is really um uh... haunter yes that's a name and so it's funny because on the first turn I trace his m um, magnet pull and he happens to be steel and he sets up the rocks and I have the encore and the will-o-wisp so I can just pretty much get a free kill right off the bat because he can't switch and he has to use stealth rock because I cannot speed him and go for the encore and the crit on that psychic just makes the um, the kill shorter I guess because I mean there's no way he can switch and it's pretty much just a um, dead uh, why am I so bad with Pokemon's names right now oh my I, I seriously cannot think of this Oh my gosh. Whatever. I'm an idiot. Uh, he goes in with his Haunter, and I was just going to stay in knowing that nothing can kill me from one hit. So um, I just stayed in and went for the Psychic, and he went for the Dragon, um, whatever it is, Draco Media. And then um, I predicted the switch and went for the Willows and missed, and I was like, oh man. And I stayed in just because of Pursuit and all that. And then on this turn... Um, he goes for the taunt, which is pretty obvious, so I went for the seismic toss, seismic toss, whatever it's called. And um, I didn't really want to switch. I don't know why I didn't want rocks damage or anything. I have three things on this team weak to rocks, which isn't that good. And once again, I'm only using that flying normal type, which I seriously, for the love of my tongue, cannot remember the name of that. And, um... Yeah, so I will probably never, ever, ever use that again because I absolutely hate it. But, um, yeah, so I go into my Shogun thinking that he's like Specs or Scarf or something. But no, he pulls out the Sludge Bomb. And I go for the Shadow or Ch Dragon Claw. <laughs> and I go back into my Mawile thinking that he's going to go for the Sludge Bomb. But he makes a nice play and uh, switches up the moves, which you should always do. And here I make a bad play, go for the rocks, not thinking he had sub. And now I just end up foddering off my Shogun, because um, pretty much everything on his team left can handle it from 4%. And I go into my Glaceon, because it is my special wall, I guess. And I go for the Wish, as he gets the Toxic, or the Poison, which kind of sucks. And he gets min damage, doesn't kill me, and I just go for the Heal Bell. And I get back up to around 60% after the wish. And he goes to the shadow ball, mixing moves up again. And that is not a good time to mix up moves. But um, he expected me to go into my Mawile, I guess. And I just go for the ice beam, break in the sub. And after the wish, I'm like, okay, he can't take me out in one hit, and he's not behind a sub. May as well go for the ice beam again to take him out. But he gets a toxic, which I mean, didn't really matter because. Um, he could still kill me with the Altaria because I'm pretty sure this is Specs and um, I mean Glaceon is bulky but it's not that bulky. Pidgeot, that's what it is. And I always thought Pidgeotto was the final evolution. I don't know about you guys. I thought Pidgeot was the second form but that's just me. And he makes a great, actually a really great prediction. Predicts me to go into my Mawile. That was actually pretty good. He surprised me. And in comes the gold bat. I'm just going for the roost. Trying to play safe right now. And I go for the brave bird. Knowing that. <coughs> sorry. That he's probably going to go for the taunt. And I mean what else would I do. I have toxic and u-turn and roost. So brave bird was definitely the good play. And that um. Whatever it called. That aftermath damage kind of didn't matter. Because I probably would have roosted right there. And I probably should have roosted anyways, but I don't know why I didn't. I don't know what was going through my head right there. If I roosted, it probably would have been a lot better. I don't really know why I didn't roost. But whatever, it's my Pidgeot, Brave Bird. 
it's not going to do a lot to that thing, but I didn't have anything better to do. So that was the first battle, and it was pretty good, and that um, Pidgeot was just for you, the guy who commented. I forget who it was, and this is my other team. It's against um, Milf Tank, and <laughs> I know he um, commented on the last battle saying he wanted to battle me, and he did plain as simple as that. Any of you can battle me, just say you want to. But it's easiest if you have Skype, and this is my team that I just, I literally kind of threw it together. He uploaded this battle on his side, too. You can go watch that. And you should go check him out. The threats on his team are Butterfree, because that thing can set up, and that thing next to it. The Combuskin can also be a threat, and Absol, I mean, it's not really a threat, because I pretty much know how to maneuver Absol, because I've played it so many times. But anyways, let's get into this. Okay. I'm leading off with my awesome. Uh, God, what the hell is wrong with my um speech? Sorry if I'm cursing a lot, but uh, I don't know why I'm, I'm being such an idiot with my voice. I just fake out and then go into my vile plume. I don't know why I didn't U-turn there. Actually, that was kind of weird. I can easily outspeed that thing. Whatever. Um, I go for the sleep powder miss. Kind of sucks. And then I thought that his whatever it was, the Electabuzz might have vital spirit, so I switched the moves up. I mean, go for the sleep powder again after I get the leech seed, and I miss again, which kind of sucks. And now he switches into his Armaldo, and I go for the sleep powder, and I hit it finally. And then I go for the leech seed because I'm just being gay with this sleep powder leech seed. I feel like such, um, I don't know, such. I feel so like. I feel bad when I play like that with just leech seed and sleep powder and all that. I go into my Mianfu, scare him out with a fake out, and I do go for the fake out. And not trying to over predict, trying to play safe right now. I don't really know how this guy plays yet. And um, I go for the Stone Edge, does a lot more than he expected it to. And I knew this was offensive because what defensive variant has superpower? So, yeah, I stay in on my Mianfu knowing that this is probably a Quiver Dance one because he switched it out on my Fake Out. And that means he probably has a Sash. I wake up, go for the Stone Edge, and it does bring him down to a Sash. And at this point, my mindset was, okay, he's going to go for the Sleep Powder again. And let me bring in my Monferno as Sleep Fodder. So that's why I brought my Monferno in right here. And this was my Sub Punch Monferno, which is awesome. And I don't really use Sub Punch Monferno that much though, because I'm always using Sub Punch, what's it called? Um, Kangaskhan. And I bring in my Bayonet, which is banded to straight up take that Butterfree out from 45%, which is crazy. He sets up the Swords Dance, gets plus one speed. No, I'm banded, take that guy straight out. I knew that he knew I was banded right now, so he was obviously going to go for the Sucker Punch. And right here, I went for the U-turn, just because I thought he was going to switch out, because um, he did that the last time on his Absol, and I thought he'd be fearing the fake out. And I go into my Bayonet, and I go for the Banded Shadow Claw, and um, that doesn't even do that much. And he goes for the knockoff, knocks off my Band, and then I go for the Trick, so he can't um, use the leftovers and all that jazz. So now I go for the Shadow Claw again, just kind of trying to die I guess and he knocks off my leftovers and I'm like alright I just want to go into my me and food I don't care if he toxics me right now I just wanna or knock off in this case I just wanna kill this and I know that I can come in on that Electabuzz with pretty much um anything I can bring in my Electabuzz to get some damage bring in my bayonet bring in my um god Meditite that's what it is cause that thing is freaking powerful and I go into my Electabuzz just because um, Electabuzz and it resists the stab. And he goes for the Psychic, which is funny because he gets the drop and then he kills me off with another one. And that shows me that he's Scarfed and mine is also Scarfed. And now I'm like, okay, Meditite can take one and take him out with that freaking Jolly Life Orb high jump kick. And that was a great game. He uploaded that to his side, as I already said. So you could, should go check him out. Leave a like if you enjoyed these two pretty cool battles and um yeah so leave me suggestions for pokemon to use pokemon move sets to make and tell me if you like live recording or pre-recorded yet no one has yet to freaking tell me which one they like more so freaking tell me okay goodbye